Hello, hello YouTube. Uh, today I will show you some tricks to stay alive as hunters. Because we have this one spell that is so undervalued and people don't know most of the stuff that you can use it with for each season. For example, there's tons of stuff you can use for this season that I'm playing right now, Dragonfly Season 3. But this video will apply also generally uh, for the future as well. And that is Fang Death. Uh, I think that, that, I mean, people get the spell, of course, it's easy. Fang Death, tricking enemies into ignoring you, and you can stay there up to six minutes. That's well and simple. But what, what's not really communicated, perhaps, as is that you can pretty much, the part that ignores you counts for spells and in dungeons and raids and that might be a huge thing when you're pushing higher keys and uh, one of the spells can hit you uh, and kill you because it makes at least you know half of your HP maybe on like an instant hit just press fang death before and you won't get hit and sometimes even there's even bigger impact that makes that makes it easier for the whole group um, so I wanted to share this and I will also so show you some example for this Dragonflight Season 3 because we have some in the Dawn of the Infinite, we have a big one in Atal, uh, we have a small one that I think at least is very good to know in Dark Art Thicket. Uh, there's not, except for regular casts that's target to, targeted to you, you there's no specific in Waycrest. Same for Black Crow Cold. Uh, same for Everbloom. The same for Throne of the Tide. But these three do have some really big ones that I wanted to show you. And keep in mind, this will probably always be the case in every season. Some stuff will be super overpowered that you can just ignore it. That's why you see in almost every season when the the great push is happening or something like that you see people going night elf because shadow meld counts the same as feign death and ignoring stuff with feign death is or shadow meld is super op you can you see it every time there's almost always some sort of skip involved in with shadow meld in a great push like you you always see it that's what it is so uh, I will show you some examples that I have recorded. The first one uh, is uh, in Dark Heart Thicket, where this is before the second boss. We're killing off some trash. I did this the other week. You have these uh, Nightmare Dwellers that cast Tormenting Eye. Uh, if you know about it, uh, this one will... if channeled all the way through they will fear the target uh, for like five seconds which can be annoying it requires a lot of CC and usually everyone pulls all of them and that's six in total I think so you need a lot of CC and interrupts but you can help out with that because if you get targeted right you just feign death and they will recast it in onto some, or like stop and then after a few seconds, recast it on someone else. Basically making you have a second interrupt. So on top of Feng Death, you can of course normal interrupt. And you have the intimidating shot. That's, so you can at least see three of them. At least. Oh, well, that's good. Mm, and you can see here. Here, I do one, I think, this one. There I find that just in case. Of course, we had a lot of C, so I didn't really need it, but you know, you never know. Um, so, for the next one, it's coming after this, is I believe. So, yeah, we, we kill this off. And the next clip I have, yeah, is the third boss on Galacron's Fall. You have this, you know, you start with a blob and then it's a uh, dragon thing and then it splits into two dragons. And throughout the whole boss, you will have a spell called Corrosion Infusion. I'll show you here. 
Um, if you see on my there, corrosive infusion, it's happening in 10 seconds. For the two ones, this is the uh, ice dragon that will cast it. And when you cast it, it's a whole mechanic where the tank should have it and he should stand in a frontal to have it removed. And for us, this DPS, it takes a lot. And it's cast on a random player and you have to like walk through someone to pass it over. So you pass it over to the tank. But with Fang Death, for us hunters, if it's targeted to you the first time, and if you're fast enough to react, if you Fang Death before the cast ends, the cast will not go off, and it will not be recast onto another one, another player. So, you're basically ignoring the whole tack, like the whole uh, spell, or like ability for the boss, which makes this boss super simple. Uh, I think I did it twice or three times just this boss fight when it was tar targeted on me. It helps out tremendously. You can see here, uh, it's happening in 8 seconds and I'm keeping track on... <laughs> I'm doing it manually so I will check if he checks on me like officially. There, he starts casting, I fang death and he doesn't cast it. Pretty neat, pretty neat. And then we kill this off. And here's another one. <laughs> this applies more to the general theme of if you have something channeling on you or if it's a cast coming up, you can find that. But I feel worth mentioning this one is it's very hard hitting. And that's when the construct, the big one here, cast the soul burn. You see here, I have the soul burn on me and I'm <laughs> very uh, late to react. But you can see that <clears throat> I get the beam, and it's still casting a long way to go, and I feign death, and it's gone. That could easily have killed me if it went through all the way. So, another way to stay alive, do more damage, you know? One has to know all the tricks in the books to be able to outperform others. And I believe I have one more example for you guys. Oh yeah, that's why I did it. I got it twice. And here I didn't have it. So I will show you. Like, I was close to dying. I had some externals on me. And I have my 40% damage reduction. Uh, it still put me way below 50%. Uh, and it's a tyrannical week. So, <laughs> yeah. If you're pushing, make sure that you uh, have Fang Death up for this one. And... The next example is also Atal, and this is the first boss, or uh, anyway, the Rasan. And here you, if you're, I'm sure you're familiar with Pursuit, where he targets one player after a few seconds, and then he just charges after them for like 10 seconds. And you have to stay away from him, otherwise he will eat you up. Pretty annoying, because not only do you have to kite it so it moves around a lot, but... As a melee, uh, for us survival hunters, you can't uh, DPS, it's a huge loss. But if you let the cast go through, like I'm waiting until this pursuit is going off, and then just press Fang Death when he starts pursuing, boom, he stops and he doesn't recast it again. Another big spell that just can be ignored by us hunters. Um, yeah. That was it for this video. I hope you found it informative. I'm sure I've probably missed some specific ones for this season, but I also wanted to make it more of a general video showcasing. There's a lot of times when Fang Death is super good for you. Use it and try to think, or at least just Google and check other guides, you know, I'm sure you can pretty easily find all the tricks and tips for hunters. Not only for... I, I would try to keep it up every season. Uh, show you some of the tricks that you can do. But at least now you have it in mind for the next season or, you know, for the future.
So yeah, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.